Hello, and welcome to the Fall of the Mile. On this program, we will discuss me as Ixchil, the god of childbirth and rainbows, and Alexander as the god of rain. We will be discussing the, how the greatest civilization to call Mesoamerica home fell into the depths. So sit back and relax on those horribly uncomfortable seats and enjoy. Maybe the manliest tears in all of Mesoamerica. Hey guys, focus. Sorry. So, there are many ingredients that all came together to make the recipe of the fall of the Maya. We'll start with the one I already alluded to. Dos Pilas and the war that split and the war that split the Mayans. So there are two superpowers in the Mayan world, called the Tikals and the Camels. For the last time, they're called the Cacamoles. Oh. Anywho. These two superpowers were consistently at war. And just like every other internal war, this one split the Mayan government right down the middle. And Dos Pilas was a mi originally a military base built by the Tikals. And it was taken over by the Camels. Oh, I mean the Calacamoles. And Dos Pilas helped the Calacamoles defeat the Tikals. But eventually, the Tikals rose up once more to defeat the Calacamoles for good. We're going to need a concept map to explain all this. Well, your godliness, if you happen to look behind you, you might realize that the big colorful thing with bubbles and arrows happens to be a concept map. Oh. So, anyway, what happened to Dos Pilas in the end? It was just abandoned. That's depressing. I think, but I think the main point to pull out of this is that the rival, rivalry between the two super, superpowers really put a lot of unwanted hatred in the modern world. Another major component into the fall of the Maya was deforestation. I love deforestation. Trees are such a, just a, such a pain in the... Chalk! I mean, deforestation is such a, most definitely a horrible thing. But still, those temples were just amazing to see and all. I think we should focus on the overdevelopment. Interesting use of the word over, Ixchel. You see, the mines were like this big red balloon that had air constantly being pumped into it. Everyone was having a party when the, it was just the right size, but the airflow never ceased. And let me guess, one day this blood-colored balloon swelled up beyond its limits and burst. Hey, it took me a month to figure out that metaphor. And it took me ten seconds to figure it out. Anyway, the mines cut down the trees for various reasons. One was to burn limestone and make stucco for the architecture. Which they built, which they built on land that was recently inhabited by rainforest. Which needless to say, they cut down. Another reason they cut down trees was to plant crops like corn, squash, peppers, which was called Slap and Burn. Oops. You're just as bad as the mines, Chalk. Well, at least I didn't set your head on fire. <sighs> you can't. You're the god of rain. Oh, yeah. Well, just to wrap this topic, topic up, without the trees and the other rainforest shrubs, the soil would erode and the air would become a lot more humid with all of my rain. And the Slash and Burn technique couldn't even come close to supporting the, the inflating population. And then the drought came and lowered the harvest even more. And that huge population had to all fit in the relatively small space, which made the Mayan Kingdom one of the most densely populated places on Earth. Which left somewhere around no land, no farming, with all the houses. So with the food shortages and the surplus food people, the mines were basically standing on the edge of a crumbly cliff, poised to fall. That was the first good metaphor you've come up with today, Your Highness. And that's a hundredth time you've been sarcastic, your lowness. And before you try to think of another metaphor, let's end this puppet show. I suppose you're right. Thank you very much for listening to our educational banter. I hope you learned something. And tune in next week for the decline of the Aztecs. Hmm.